so yeah let's go ahead and see uh, how these things work in javascript you guys can see my screen here yes great <clears throat> so we go here and i'll use comments these are date object methods say and i'll comment this out to uh, a function to print a string and a line break all right so, yeah. <clears throat> so now here the first one so already we have we have we have declared the date now okay so what i do is like print string we have already the object over there or let's take the yeah date now oops dot okay always the objects uh, starts with like you know this is the object name this is the object name and this is a method get date okay so before that i'll say uh, date now date now objects get date so this makes a this makes some sense over there so you go here and you see 18 okay today is 18 oops uh, i said okay uh, today's date is like uh, 18 is today's date not like full date okay so date now objects get date this is i can use this on a different object too like say i'm just copying this and here instead of date now i'll say date milliseconds now you guys say me tell me what what will be the get date of this particular statement what will be the get date of this statement which is highlighted in blue what's the answer this string the second one what is what does get date return yes any answers no no answer for this yes you guys hear me hello hello yeah what is the get date of the second string second date object gives me i'm asking you a question <laughs> so what is it written the get date of the second one September 10, 2001. What is it written? Yes. 10. Let's see. What is it written? So I'll just refresh. What happened? You just save it. Yes. Date underscore. Oh, the spelling so And this is yeah. It's right. Ten. Like such, I can I can go ahead and use you know get full year. Let's use get full year. So here I'll comment this. I don't want to flood the whole uh, screen. So I'll say get full year. So go here. 
2014. All right, likes it. You know, I can I can get anything. Let's see, get uh, get day. So I'll take this. So we'll use this too. So get day. You see day is two. So today is what? Tuesday? Okay. Uh, then in, in that case I had to reverse this. I uh, know. <coughs> Let's take this. Yeah. Fine. Makes sense. So let me just take it today, Tuesday itself, right? Uh, oh, sorry, it's oh, I forgot to say this starts from Sunday. So this is Sunday to Saturday. Okay, so let's take uh, which one? One date. Okay, what I give is what is Sunday? 16th, let's say. So I'll say 03 16 2014. So, yeah, this is Sunday. So let's get the week, uh, get day of our date stream. Okay. So date string. So date string is the third one. See zero. So it starts from Sunday. Sunday is zero, and Saturday is what? Uh, what we got? Uh, Saturday is six over there. All right. Like such, you know, get day, uh, get hours, get noons. We'll see the use of our. We'll, we'll start we'll implement a timer when we see the miscellaneous functions of miscellaneous objects or javascript so until then yeah let's let's just you know see the examples of you know these get days that's it and let's jump into set date so set date uh, again is our uh, <coughs> to set a new date like say what i do is like what is the date of this this is friday december 12 2014 right so i'll just set the date to december 14th all right so let's see so that is date underscore parameters right so i'll use set date set date so that was december 12th right so I want December 25th and this is parameter set date to 25 